Almost every weekend, Bikes for the World collects unwanted bicycles like these. People are bringing their bikes, they're donating them. Helen Galband has been overseeing collections like this one for eight years. They're donating bikes that have been sitting in their garages or in their basements or they've just bought new bikes. Stephen Popick donated two mountain bikes he and his wife used to ride. My bikes wouldn't fetch a, a nice price and wouldn't really be worth trying to have a yard sale to sell two little brinky dink bikes. But they could be useful to somebody else. That's the idea behind Bikes for the World. Can I donate a bike? Yes, thank you. All of these donated bikes are being prepared for shipment. They're then transported from the collection site to a storage area. Yeah, it's a five speed. Where they're loaded into a container. Keith one. Oberg is director of Bikes for the World. These bicycles that still have lots of years of life left in them, can be worked on, can be reconditioned overseas, generating employment just in fixing up the bikes. These bikes are going to Costa Rica, where they could help start a bike rental business or provide transportation for a family. But Bikes for the World ships elsewhere, too. We started out more in Central America because that's where I personally worked many years. But I think Africa is an area where we can have a real impact on people's livelihoods and on people's access to education. For students, a bicycle may mean the difference between staying in school or dropping out. Many uh, of the students have to come long distances, and we're talking in Africa of five, ten miles. And many of them are motivated to do that, but there are pressures to drop out, to, to help back on the farm, to earn money. It gives them the means to help out at home and still study. This is a 24. Last year, Bikes for the World shipped more than 10,000 bikes overseas. Ugh. This year, Oberg says, the group hopes to ship even more. Susan Logue, VOA News, Washington.